Once I have the walls built up, it's now time to cut out a hole for the doors and the windows so that we can actually install models of doors and windows. So to do this, there's a three-step process. We have to first place guidelines to help us know exactly where the doorway should be cut out as well as the windows. Then we use the pencil tool to sketch those guidelines and actually create different faces on the surface of the wall. And the third step is going to be to use the push-pull tool to actually cut the hole in the wall. So the first step is to create the guidelines and place them accordingly. So I'm going to use the measuring tape tool over here in the toolbar. Click on it and you'll see that your cursor changes. So I'm going to hover over this corner of the building and what we're doing is we're trying to clone this line work and kind of like turn it into a guideline. So by clicking and dragging on that corner you'll see that a dashed line appears and that's the guideline. So I'm just dragging it straight out from that corner. Notice that I also have that red extension line helping me place it perfectly against this wall. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here to where the door meets the floor and I'm going to put that guide right there on the outside part of the door. And look at what I got here. I got a purple circle, guys. Those purple circles are your bread, are your lifeline here in SketchUp. So go ahead and let go of the mouse once you see that purple circle and you have placed that guideline. So just to demo that one more time, Control Z zoom out a little bit. I have the measuring tape tool started. I click and drag from this corner so that I get a parallel line and then I bring my cursor down to where the outside of the door is, find that purple circle and then once you see that purple circle let go of your mouse and you'll drop that guideline. Now I need to do the same thing over here for this door. I could go all the way back over to the corner but you can actually clone a guideline from a guideline. So I'm going to click and drag out a guideline and I'm going to place it right here at the bottom where the door, the very outer part of the door, meets the wall. Let go of the mouse so that you can place it. So just to demo that one more time, Control Z to undo. Click and drag a clone of this guideline straight out. Look at that red extension line. And then also you can kind of feel it snap in place now, but you need to make sure that that purple circle shows up. So drop it and then you have that guideline. We also need to get the uh, a horizontal guideline so that we know how high the door is. Now can anybody tell me how high the average height of a residential door is? Anybody? Anybody? If you guess six foot eight, you are correct. So I'm going to click and I'm going to pull out a guide just like I did and you can see how I'm cloning and making a parallel line out of the line that I just pulled out of. Bring it straight up using that blue extension line. I'm going to drop it anywhere and type six apostrophe eight for six foot eight. Enter and it knows automatically that I meant to place this guide six foot eight from where I first started that guide. So now I'm going to kind of zoom out a little bit so that you can see that we now know where that door is supposed to be placed. So we did step one. Step two is to use the pencil tool and trace these guidelines. So I'm going to make sure that I kind of come in a little close, make sure I find that purple circle click to start, make sure that you're drawing parallel with that blue extension line and you see that when you hit the intersection there's a little red dot. That's okay, it's not going to be a purple circle in this instant. Um, but we're just looking for that little red dot and it does say intersection so go ahead and click and you'll see that that line is really bold. It's very dark. So I'm going to click again to draw the top of that door and then when I bring it down I want you to see that the boldness goes away and it actually becomes light. That's what we want to have happen. That lightness indicates that I have now created two faces on the surface of that wall. I'm separating where the door is going to be from where the wall is going to be. 
So once you have that separation, it's time for step three, which is to use that push-pull tool and push in that door just a little bit. Now to cut the hole, all you need to do is type the thickness of the object that you're cutting a hole into. So in this case, the wall is eight inches thick. I'm gonna type eight, enter, and there it's cut the hole. So just to demo that one more time for you, push-pull tool, push it in just a little, type eight for the thickness of the wall, and it will cut that hole. There is one more method that you can do. It's um sometimes it's a little tricky. I like the typing the thickness method myself, but this method could work for you as well. So you can push until you see a blue gray face. See how that looks? And once you see that face, you just let go of your mouse and it cuts the hole as well. So just to demo that one one more time, control Z, push in until you see the blue gray face let go of your mouse and you've cut that hole. So that looks beautiful, right? Yay, let's do that again. Let's do it over here on this wall. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. Always try to draw the opening on the same side that the door is swinging out of. That's just gonna help you be able to place the door a lot easier. So measuring tape tool, I'm gonna pull from this corner straight out. See how I get that red extension line? But I'm also gonna match it at the bottom to the outside of this door. Drop it like it's hot. And there you've got your guideline placed. Clone your guideline. Kind of starting to sound like a conspiracy theory or something. We got clones going on. What the heck? Drop it like it's hot down at the bottom so that it matches up. And you've got that guide placed measuring tape from the bottom straight up straight up now tell me you really love me forever oh 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 okay enough of that six foot eight is the height of our door and now our guides are placed pencil tool it kind of acts like a scoring tool so it's kind of scoring the surface of this wall so that we can then make sure that we have two separated faces Push-pull tool so that we can see that they're separated. Push in just a hair, and this wall is five inches thick. So I'm gonna type five, enter, and there it's cut the hole. Now you can see on the interior that it creates this little line right here. And for now, I'm just gonna use that pink eraser, and I'm gonna get rid of that. Beautiful. One more door, y'all. Let's try it out. Let's see if we can go faster this time measuring tape, pull out that guide and match it at the bottom, pull out a clone, match it at the bottom, pull up for your door header, six foot eight, pencil tool, boom, boom, boom. It's bold, now it's light, that indicates I've created two faces on this surface. Push in that door just a hair, five inches, and you've cut the hole. And let's get rid of those little lines. Gorgeous, that looks beautiful, except we have all these crazy guidelines. What are we gonna do with those? Let's delete them because they get in the way really quickly. Edit, delete guides, and you'll see they go away. We are almost there, so now it's time to do the walls, but if you notice, we can't see the walls because they're underneath the wall. Dang it, so what do we do now? Our goal now is gonna be to take these CAD lines that we had and we're gonna place them up on top of our model. That way we can see the line work of the windows and we can install the guidelines and trace those guidelines just like we did the door. So to bring the CAD lines up, I'm gonna click on the CAD lines themselves. They're red right now, so that indicates they're locked. Right click to unlock that CAD line. So now the CAD lines are blue. I'm gonna use the move tool over here in the toolbar, and I'm gonna click on this door. Now I could click anywhere I want to, so maybe I wanna click, um, I always kinda like to click where the door meets the architecture. 
So I'm going to click here on this corner and notice that I can actually bring those lines up or down as I need to. So these walls are nine feet, so I'm just going to bring the CAD lines up just a little bit, type nine feet. And SketchUp is so smart, it knows exactly where to place that CAD work. And now I can see the windows and now I can know how to place the guidelines. So I'm just going to right click one more time on this CAD line. I'm going to hit lock so they're red so I don't accidentally move it for any reason. And then I'm going to use the measuring tape tool and I'm going to measure out a guideline. Now I'm going to use this doorway instead of the corner of the building because it's closer. So I'm going to click and drag out a guideline and this time I'm going to go to the top and drop it like it's hot. Drag it, drop it. Drag it out, drop it at the top. One more, drag it out, drop it at the top. So now I know where the sides of my windows are going to be. Now it's time to know where the sill and the window header is going to be. Now for these, I mean it's totally up to you guys where you want to place it. Since this is more of a commercial kind of installation eventually, um, I need to make sure that I consider that. So commercial usually has nice big windows. So I'm just going to make a sill up one foot from the floor and I'm going to also bring it down one foot from the ceiling. So measuring tape tool is going to grab and drag out a guide from the bottom, one foot, enter, and I'm going to do the same thing from the top, grab it but bring it down one foot, and there I've got the guides for the windows. So now all I have to do is take that pencil tool and trace the windows. It went bold to light, so that means that I can push it in, and this is 8 inches, remember it's exterior, so it's a little thicker. And there I've cut out the windows. Let's do the same thing on this side. Cut out the windows. And there we've completed that. So if you have windows that you want to add to any of the other parts, if you have other doors that you want to add, now's the time to do it because in the next video we're going to learn how to take actual door models and window models and place them into these holes.